All right, you know, I think it's pretty safe to say that we have a celebrity obsession here in the U.S., and especially when celebrity couples break up, the frenzy of trying to figure out why and assigning blame can sometimes become a cruel sport. And the latest couple breakup, Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner, has led to a lot of mom shaming and some finger pointing on both sides, saying that she wasn't home a lot, she wanted to party, and poor Joe Jonas was trying to be the good father that he was while on tour with the Jonas Brothers. A really interesting look at celebrity culture here. And Erin Myers joins me. She has studied celebrity culture extensively. She is a professor at Oakland University. She's written several books about it. Erin, I'm so glad that you're joining me. Hi, thanks for having me. So can I ask first off how you started to study celebrity culture? What, draw you, what drew you to it? And uh, what are your classes like? Because this is a class I want to take. <laughs> Yeah, I started studying celebrity back in the early 2000s, um, which was a really exciting time for celebrity culture in terms of coverage and gossip magazines and the rise of digital media covering celebrities. So there was just a lot happening. And that's something that I was always interested in, in terms of how it helps us think about our own selves in our own everyday lives. So that's what I do in my classes a lot, is we don't just talk about who our favorite celebrities are, but what it says about culture when certain ideas of, about celebrity and about the self come through at those um, celebrity breakups like you were talking about. When you started studying it intensively, you said in the early 2000s, how have you seen things change to where we are in 2023? Uh, I've seen a couple of changes. I would say first, the speed at which these things happen. Uh, the rise of digital media really made it that we are getting a constant flow of even the most minute celebrity information at all times. And the second thing that I've seen change is the fan involvement or the audience involvement. Um, and that has changed in a couple of ways itself. First, we get to talk more directly with celebrities in a sense because of social media and things like that. But it's also let us talk about ideas in a wide variety of ways. So I really think there's been a shift more recently into a rethinking of how we treat celebrities or how we treat the ideas behind them. So starting to question things about mental health or mom shaming or these kinds of issues that are being brought forward by celebrity and not just breaking them down, but saying, hey, let's use this as a moment to talk about some larger issues. All right, so let's jump right into the mom shaming and what we saw coming out of the Joe Jonas, Sophie Turner situation. Um, why does it why does it fall into that? And I also think about um, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, um, you know, some other celebrity couples like that. What were you taking from this situation while you were watching it? Well, I think this is the on one hand a, a moment where people are saying we're looking behind the celebrity curtain and we know that. They're real people with real struggles, but also maybe that they are, as celebrities, manipulating our uh, media attention to them a little bit. I, I've seen a lot of people suggesting that Joe Jonas is the one that's leaking these stories more, trying to control the narrative and calling him out for that, calling him out for not uh, being a, an authentic kind of person. But I think it's also opened up more discussion about whether or not it's appropriate to shame in this way that why is Sophie Turner being held up in this way if her kids are happy and safe and they've done things to protect their privacy why should we be bringing her down um, as someone who is a bad mom I think what's really interesting too is that you said we won't really know what the true story is because there is such a way for stories to be leaked or you know a team of a celebrity to say like try to start to plant different things and you know, the curating of what we actually see and the images, I mean, are they really truly real? Um, it gives us a very, you know, you say in one way, easier to, to relate, but in some sense, do we really know what's going on here? Absolutely, we never really know them. The celebrity persona is built on this idea that we can know them, we can get these bits and pieces of them, especially in this era of social media where it seems like we get this direct access but we never really know them. It's always controlled and constructed uh, in order to promote their products, right? Their, in the case of Joe Jonas, album and tour and things like that. So they wanna create a certain kind of persona and acting like a quote unquote real person um, is often a part of that.
You know, maybe this goes veers more into the sociology end of it, Aaron. But um, is it that when people lean in and say, "Oh, well, she's definitely not a good mom," is it to try to deflect from maybe how they feel as a mother or how they perceive mothering should be in a society? And it just speaks to you know generally what you talk about in in your class about how it all reflects back into us. It's absolutely a way to make sense of ourselves and others. And I think celebrity gossip is a popular mode to do that because it's less risky for us as individuals. So I can judge Joe Jonas or Sophie Turner, and that's not going to come back on me the way it would if, say, I was judging a family member or a friend. So it's a way to work through these norms, um, perhaps deflecting from ourselves or uh, trying to create a norm more broadly that we think is how the world should be and using this anchor of the celebrity image to help reinforce that. You know, I also think, though, about social media, too, and the place where everyone feels free to comment and say whatever they'd like to say. And sometimes the negative comments and the nastiness gets more of the attention and the, and the churn of it all. Um, and, and it feels like that we're going down this road of that is getting more and more negative. Or has it always just been this way, Erin? Well, I think that social media has intensified it. Um, you know, nothing drives clicks like emotion and certainly anger is one of the the driving emotions for a lot of social media there's always been this sort of judgment we haven't even back in the early days of the golden age of hollywood only thought about stars as these wonderful perfect beings but rather as someone that we might want to aspire to be or who we want to not be like there's certainly a history of that of stars being held up as objects of bad ways of living. So I think that social media intensifies it, but it's certainly not a brand new phenomenon. You know, divorce is hard enough. I think parenting is, is hard enough, but then to have it amplified in the public eye the way that celebrity has, is it harder than ever to be a celebrity these days? There's certainly ways that they can protect privacy, and, and Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner have been doing that. They haven't released the name of their second child. They've done some things to try and protect their children's privacy. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, when you are a public figure, especially in this era of digital media where it's not just traditional outlets, but also people with phones on their cameras who see you out uh, on the street or in a restaurant, that these kinds of things can can get out or are harder to control, which might be why certain celebrities come out and try to control the narrative in some ways. But I think in some cases, and I would argue Joe Jonas right now is one of them, it, that attempt to control the narrative backfires a little bit. All right, Professor Aaron Myers from Oakland University and an expert in celebrity culture. It's really great to talk to you. I, I love the conversation. It was super interesting. We're going to have you back. Wonderful. I'd love to. Appreciate it. Have a great day.